and today we're going to be voyaging on my new ship as a captain in Sea of Thieves Season 7, and we're going to be doing some stuff, right? Okay, so I'm actually going to be a Reaper for this, so let's go ahead and get the the Reaper of Bones thing. Where is it on this island? All right, Emissary Flag raised for the Reapers, dude. We are going to raise Reaper's Bones, and we're going to do some fortresses. We're going to see if we can stack fortresses. Maybe with somebody not ambushing us. That would be nice, but you know, this is Sea of Thieves. Shit happens all the time. Somebody was recently asking me, how do you dodge the cannons from the fortress? Uh, you just sail towards the fortress. They literally cannot aim. Like, where, where are you guys shooting? What is this? This is like me in PvP, guys. <laughs> Where's your aim at, dude? Who are you shooting at? There's nobody there. Dude, bang. <laughs> Oh, that feels good, dude. It feels good to shoot somebody in the back of the head. Oh, he's coming out with me with a pistol, dude. Bang, and he's dead. No, sir, you're gonna sh not shoot me in the face today. You know one thing that's really nice? Oh, whoa. Yeah, not not that. That uh, rubber banding's not very nice. I I will I will mention that. That is that is terrible. That's uh, disturbingly terrible. There's normally much better food here, though. Let's see. Let's go see. So two mangoes. There's a wood barrel. We'll take some wood. There are a ton of supplies on these fortresses almost all the time. It's actually really good. Wow, dude, I missed a shot between, like, all five of them. Isn't that great? You think I can just, like, yeet, pew, and then just run past? None of them landed their shots that day, except that guy. Dude, I can do this all day. This is, like, the coolest thing. I'm actually getting a bunch of the milestones for killing phantoms just because I love doing fortresses so much. This, this is literally insane. I'm class 6 already, dude. That's like... That's like almost 200, 300 phantoms killed, I think. But we also need to be looking out for a certain something, right? Now I've got to be careful here because I'm looking for a key. I'm looking for a key. There's also loot hidden around all over the place. But these guys will try to ambush you every second day of your life. How can you not have more fun using the sniper? The sniper is just amazing, dude. I love it. Okay, and that was it, dude. That was actually super quick. This is like the fastest thing to do ever if you just want free, easy loot. Like, there is literally no struggling at all. And now we just take the key down the stairs and we open up the room. Okay, and we're using a new method that somebody in my comments showed me that you can actually just go out the back here, park the ship over there, and you just have to run the loot across. I'm going to show you in a second now. So I'm going to pick something up. I'm going to be like this. Boom. We pick something up. We go through here, through the gateway that we just lowered. And you just put this here and boom. When you're ready, you just get on the ship, grab the harpoon and take everything home. And don't forget to check all of the cupboards because sometimes there is stuff hiding in them. Speaking of cupboards, we do need to go and grab the other key for the other treasure area. That is right at the top of every fortress, which I actually forgot to show in my video. But we're going to go ahead and find the key and open up that right now. Okay, so we're going to search room by room. You can open different things. Um, it's going to be in things that you can open. There's actually nothing here, right, besides this thing. Open up this. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's check the next floor. This one is most likely going to have the key. So let's go ahead and open up all the drawers. There's a piece of treasure. That's very nice. We'll grab this now. But let's try and find the key. You can also open up these things over here. There's a gold pouch. We'll take that. Um, there's another one over here. There's also some gold on the table. Almost didn't see that. And another one. Gold in there. And this one? What's in here? Key? No key. Uh, there's nothing here. Um, where's this thing? Let's open up this. There's the key. You see? This key right over here opens up the thing at the very top. So if you go to the very top floor, there is a room over here you can open up and there are four pieces of treasure in here. So there's two chests, these ones, the fireworks thing that you can sell as well. And there's also a gem that's usually one of the three colors. And boom, we got a blue one this time around. And that's how you get extra loot to go ahead and sell to your ship. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna try drop the stuff down. I know it's gonna stick on the ladder, and it's going to be incredibly annoying and sometimes almost, almost impossible to reach. So you're going to just lean off, face forward, press the drop button, and it's going to drop it over there. I think I can harpoon it from the wall. It's going to save me a bunch of time instead of running all of these down to the ship itself. So we're trying to save as much time as possible because we are 
solo player right now, so it's not going to be very fun to run all five of these down at the same time. So just drop them like this, and let me show you a magic trick. Let's see if it works. <laughs> it works. You see? Now we just pick it off of the ladder up there. That's great, dude. This stuff is just hanging over there, and we're just picking it up. Just boink! Look how small this thing is, and we managed to grab it. I feel like they buffed the harpoons because they used to be terrible with aim. Now you can pick up things relatively easy, and I think there was a ship around me nearby. Um, not over there. Where was the sloop? Where'd the sloop go? There was a sloop around here somewhere. And we're at the next fortress. We're going to stack these two up here. We're going to try to get to Reaper rank 5 before we sell so we can make some big bank in terms of the gold. I'm just getting paranoid because at this point it's usually when people start to ambush you and attack you. Boom, dude! You did! Good job, dude. And now we go ahead and we get all this treasure onto the ship and we proceed to move on to whatever we do next. We haven't decided yet. And now we have quite the haul on the ship. We are ready to go ahead and move on. I actually think I'm going to go ahead and sell this or head towards Reaper's Outpost and see what's happening. And we're here at Reaper's Hideout and all we have to do is stop the ship once this thing is over. And hopefully none of these people come to attack us and we just go ahead and we sell everything we have. And look at this gold coming in, dude. Coming in hot. I'm making milestones today as well. It's very nice. Oh, dude. Gold, 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 gold. And a whole lot more gold coming my way. All the cheaper stuff now. I can probably just get rid of that as well. Normally, I, I put up this flag and I get attacked by everybody. But today, there was even two people down there. And they ignored me. Why can't it be like this every day, dude? Like, I have such insane paranoia from this game because I feel like everybody's out to get me. Let's go read our captain's logbook and see what it says here. So, ship's history, zero gold earned. That is absolutely not true. Why doesn't that work? This also doesn't work. Gold earned, zero. Yeah, I've, I've never made any gold. But in this current voyage, we've made almost 80,000 gold, which is a decent haul. You know, day since sinking, three, three days at sea. Very nice, very nice, okay. Well, that was a very good haul. That was a nice half an hour or so of just doing two fortresses. I probably should have done a third one, but I kind of got the paranoia jingles in my heart. And I was like, dude, I feel like somebody's gonna take it all from me if I don't sell after the first two. I, I've made enough gold, I'm happy with what I've done, and it was a clean run. Nobody even tried to attack me. I actually wanna see if I can poke a little bit fun now, but if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.